Hello, and welcome to this little tutorial about how to upload and organize your photos in your Forever account. I'm Jennifer Wise, and I am with Photo and Story Treasures. <clears throat> Today, I'm going to tell you, show you how to um, upload and organize not just your photos into your Forever account, but also all of this will still apply to um, video files if, that you save in your Forever account audio files, and even PDF documents as well. I will be showing you how to use albums, nested albums, and even how to tag photos. <clears throat> if you don't have a forever account yet, check the pinned comment um, that goes with this video. <clears throat> and there will be a little link in there where you can open your brand new forever account. The cool thing about brand new forever accounts is that you get a $20 coupon, a couple of gigabytes of free photo storage, and a few other little fancy perks like um, a very cool mobile app that you can upload your photos straight to your forever account right from your phone. I will also <clears throat> include um, a video a link to um, a video tutorial that I made previously about how to edit your photos in your forever account. So the first thing I'm going to do is get over to my forever account and show you how it all works. All right, here we are. You'll know that you're in the right place once you've logged into your forever account because you will see my little name right up there at the top, your ambassador being Jennifer Wise, and that's me. So uh, I will show you first the library of where all your photos and videos and audio files and PDFs can go, as well as your albums, and then we'll we'll talk about organizing in albums. So are, there are actually three places right here that you could access your library. So a library of photos is similar to a library of books in the town where you live, <laughs> um, which is that it's just everything. Like a library has all the books, your library, your photo library <clears throat> has all the photos and, and the other um, files that you've uploaded there. It just has everything. Albums is where you organize them. So you can view your library from here. If you can see where my mouse is over here at the right. You can view your library from here over at the left under the forever logo, or you can view it from the drop down menu right here. If you come all the way down here to library, you can see albums is are accessible here as well and accessible over here near that forever logo at the upper left. So I'm first going to show you library. There's nothing really exciting here because this is just everything, all the files that I've uploaded here recently. Um, the reason that there's nothing exciting is that they're not organized yet. So I, I, I couldn't find, well, I could, but <laughs> I couldn't find it if I wanted to is what I was going to say. I certainly could, but um, it's much easier to find what you're looking for if you organize into albums. So let's go over into albums. You can see that I have organized um, two albums in this account. This is not my personal account. This is a demo account. And um, <clears throat> I'm going to add another one to show you how it works but I wanna say a couple of things about these two. So these demo photos are just um, pictures that I've um, downloaded from um, Pixabay and they allow me to kind of put together demo things that I'm, I'm just showing people. And then this one, this one you might actually really like. This is just pictures. This one has a ton of information. This album is called What Forever Can Do For You. So I will put a link in fact, I'm going to make myself a note um, in that pinned comment uh, of this video so that you can actually get here and you can look through because I made it public, right? Um, you can get here and look through all of the information about what forever can do for you. So check out that link in the pinned comment as well. All right. So let's say that I want to make a new album. You just click new album. You have to name it and then you have to set a privacy to it. If you set it private, only you will be able to see the photos in there. If you set it to friends and family, then anyone that you have um, connected with, it's, it's kind of like friending people on Facebook. Um, you can connect with people who have a forever account. And then if you 
set them as your friends and family, then they will be able to see anything that you have posted to be visible just as friends and family, just by friends and family. Public is what anyone can see. That's that um, album I was mentioning a minute ago that I'd love you to come and check out so you can see what Forever can do for you. So I'm going to set this one to friends and family. You can enter a description, you can enter a date if you would like. I'm just going to go ahead and create the album. So once you create the album, there's nothing in it yet. You can go to your library and you can, um, let's say I want to move this, this little classic cook cookbook um, image right here. If I want to move that now into an album, the album I just made, I will click add to album. And then all the albums that I've made come up, I'm going to choose Demo Photos 2. Now that has just been added to my Demo Photos 2 album, which, haha, -ha, there you see it. So let's say that I want to add um, some additional photos from my computer. In that case, I would click over here, Upload at the left. Then I can choose files from my computer. Clicking that will send me over to the last thing I opened on my computer. If I would like to choose these, anything from here, I can. I just click on one and click open. If I, I'm going to upload more now here. If I want to go elsewhere, sorry, I'm like Zoom controls are getting in the way. <laughs> if I want to go elsewhere, I can. Let's say, let's do some books here. How about this one and this one. If I hold down the shift button, I can, um, let's see, let's start here. If I click here and then I hold down the shift button, it will select all of those. If I hold down this one and I just want a few, I can click here, hold down control, and then click a couple of other ones and it will only select those. Once those are uploaded, it will, from my computer here, it will tell me I'm done uploading or it will let me click, I'm done uploading. And there we go. Now, if I would like to change the album cover, I can do that. I can also edit it. So if I don't wanna call it Demo Photos 2 anymore, let's call it Forever Products, I can just change it there. All right, so that's all fine and good, but it gets even better. You can um, add, a nested album. So the way that works is let's say that in this Forever Products, I would like to add, mm, let's say cards. All right, so I'm gonna add, it's kind of like, if you think of it like an album is a folder on your computer, then a nested album is like a subfolder on your computer. So I'm gonna add a nested album inside this one called Forever Products. And I'm going to call it, what did I just say? Cards? <laughs> okay. Now it's already set to friends and family because the parent album, I already set to friends and family. So I can't change this without changing the parent album. All right. So cards, let's add some files. Oh, whoops. I wanted to actually upload. So I'm going to come over here. If you click add files, it'll take you to your library, which is great, but I actually want to upload from my computer. So we're going to do it this way. So let's go to cards and I'm gonna click these three. Okay, those are now uploading into my account. When they are ready to go, it'll, I'll click I'm done uploading and there they are. So let's go back and make sure that I put them in cards. I think I didn't. So I think what I need to do is come back to my library. Oh, there they are. And I'm going to now select those right there. And I'm going to add them to an album, which is Forever Products, but I don't want it just in Forever Products. I'm going to come over here to the nested album and click cards. Now they are going to move. I'm going to click albums and we'll see. Here's my Forever Products, then cards. And there they are. So let's, these are, these are just images of, um, of, uh, 
you know, product, obviously, but you can certainly do the same thing. Let me go back here with a bunch of other photos. Again, these are were uploaded free from pixabay.com. It's my go-to. The last thing that I want to show you is how to tag photos. So you can see I went in search of a few wedding ones. So I want to tag all, what is that? Five of those as wedding. So let me open one. And over here at the right, you can see add tags. And there are no tags here yet. So I'm going to say wedding. Now I can actually search all of these by wedding. Whoops, add tag. And I will find all five of these. Yep, I want that tag. Save and go back. There's the next one. I won't do all of these because this is the same thing over and over. <laughs> so uh, I could also um, remove it from this album. Like now that I've opened this picture, I can remove it from the album or set it as the album cover uh, as well. So anyway, that is sort of your quick, um, quick tutorial here on uploading from your computer to your forever account, organizing your photos into albums and nested albums. And you can even move one. Let's say that I accidentally, this is technically not a forever product. It's sort of a, a visual about all the things you can do with your forever account, right? So let's say I don't actually want that in forever products anymore. I can move it somewhere else. I can also delete it um, if I want, remove, right? But if I just decide, oh, that's in the wrong place, let's put that in demo photos or maybe in what, what forever can do for you. Maybe that's where it should go. Um, how about forever guarantee? All right, so now it's moved. It's not in forever products anymore. And if I go back, I will find it in this album under the forever guarantee. All right, I hope that was helpful. Your forever account is a really, really cool way to be able to organize and um, find all your photos very quickly. It's a great way to um, preserve like like uh, fireproof is what I like to call it, all your photos. When they're saved on your computer, you got to have your computer, but saved in the cloud like this in a, a system that's triple backed up and has bank encrypted security is, is fireproofing them. If your computer gets lost or your house burns down, the pictures that you have in your forever account are still there. Oh, one last thing I want to show you, um, tags. So I didn't have any tags before, right? I just now was adding that wedding tag. This gives me some options that gave me some options, but if I go to wedding, I can actually find those files that I just tagged as wedding. All right. Thank you for watching. I hope this video was helpful. I think this is the most amazing way to be able to organize your pictures and tag them and do all sorts of great, um, important things. If you like this video and found it helpful, please give it a thumbs up on um, YouTube. It helps people find it. And if you would like to see what we have coming up next, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Thanks.